Hey everybody, Tony Gohard here. We're going to be making tacos tonight. And as you will probably know, I am pressed for time like I usually am. So we're just going to give a quick rundown of the equipment that we're going to use and the food that we're going to use. So panning down right here, you can see that we have lettuce, tomato, onion, and uh, lime. We also have some flour tortillas. Some uh, cheese right here, shredded. We have ground turkey. You can use ground beef. Ground beef is what I normally use, but this was cheaper. We also have some butter, Worcestershire, some Creole seasoning. We have a uh, black pepper in a pepper grinder. Let me put this thing like this so that you can see. Yeah, black pepper in a pepper grinder and garlic pepper. All those things put together will make it all taste pretty good. And then some of the items that we're going to be using to actually cook this, we don't have a stove. What we do have is an electric skillet, which is right here. It just plugs in, heats up, cook on that spoon, fork, knife, and then a chopping block, cutting board for the vegetables. So I'm going to get all that set up right now and then uh, start up on everything because I only have a little bit of time. I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible so I can actually tell myself how long to actually do all of this. All right, well, let me get down here so you can see. Actually, some of the stuff that I was gonna be using is frozen because the size of the refrigerator that we're using is really small. The fridge part is really close to the freezer part, so lots of times stuff on the top part gets frozen. Like this ground beef right here, cheese also frozen and the lettuce. Normally frozen lettuce tastes terrible, but we're going to see how well it'll work. I've already got this thing heating up, so that way um, I can cut down a little bit on the time. I'm going to be cooking the meat as I'm cutting up the vegetables. That way I can also save time with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a spoon, spoon out some of this butter, throw it right in there so it'll start heating up. I've got the thing put on low heat because, like I said, I'm going to be doing multiple things at once and I don't want the meat to burn. So that's going to be cooking right there. We're going to grab our ground beef, frozen ground beef. Try and soften it up, turning it around like that. And I'm going to take, I don't know, maybe a third of it like that and then toss it in there while I'm working on these vegetables. So I'm going to cut into it like that. Uh, it's only frozen on half of it, so that's cool. Uh, just drop that in there, let it heat up. And I'll put a little bit more just to be sure. And then I will grab a little grocery bag. So that way I can just drop that in there, tie it off, and then I'll keep the air out of there. So that way that continues to stay good. Neck tie it off. So while uh, this is like this heating up, you want to chop it around a little bit so that way you can thin it out so that way it'll cook more even. Spin around that butter too all over. This part is pretty frozen, so I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit while I'm doing the rest of this. I'm gonna grab my vegetables first off. I'm gonna start off with the lettuce and get some of that turkey meat off of there. Turn on really hot water so it can just kind of burn it off of there. And then for the lettuce, just chop like that. And it's going to be taco style, so this will be very quick. Go like that, that should be plenty. Put that one right there on the side. And then tomato. I was completely out of view. I thought that this thing would have picked it up from right there. But as a demonstration, and that's basically all you're gonna be doing for that. I'm gonna get this guy, cut this one in half, put half there, save it for later, because I'm the only one who eats tomatoes here. Yeah, when you're cutting tomatoes, 
this knife that I'm using is not serrated. It's a straight edge blade. So it's not going to cut through tomatoes very good. Best way to get around that, to pierce it through with a sharp edge, like that, and then follow through. Go the rest of the way like that. Because with a serrated blade, you can cut straight through. If it's not serrated, it's just going to keep rubbing, and that's basically all that's going to happen. Unless you're using a really sharp one, which obviously I can't get to. So you'll just slice up the tomatoes like that, go through the rest of this guy. So you get through the end, get your onion, and then chop one end off, and then the other end, get rid of the stem and the top, cut through like that, and then peel the skin. It'll peel off all in one big thing if you get it just right, which I'm not getting right now. Eh, good enough. Pull off the whole thing, throw away the rest of it, and then there, peeled onion. Cut it like so, and then we're gonna cut it smaller than that. You're just gonna keep cutting slices and so on and so forth, and I'll just carve into it like that until you get a bunch of small little chunks. It's not quite minced, kind of chopped, just like that. And then that's how you're going to be doing your veggies. And then the lime, also very important. Well, if you're me, like I said, I'm the only one who actually eats food here. Everybody else kind of just eats something and calls it food. So we'll cut it like that, we'll cut it like that, the same way like the onion, only instead of pulling the whole peel off, you're gonna slice it straight down like that. And then again, and then again. You have to pierce all the way through, but as you can see, those are wedges. You cut it down again into eighth wedges, pretty good. So then yeah, rinse this off just in case you need that again for whatever reason. And then now I'm going to mix up the uh, meat, get it all cooked up, and then continue on from there. But that's how you get the veggies and everything else prepped. I'm going to turn the heat up on that so it'll cook faster because again I am pressed for time. Alright, and... I've already got this pressed down, it's already separated, not necessarily separated, but kind of flattened out. So the next thing that you're going to do, as you've already got your veggies all chopped up, and I haven't separated them out into different little containers, which I'm going to be taking to work, but you are going to start to season it. Cajun spice, give it a nice little pass over like that. Black pepper, give it two cranks. One, two. The reason you're giving it two is because this garlic pepper also has black pepper in it along with sea salt, garlic, and some other stuff. So two, three, four, and then some Worcestershire. Very important. Give it a pass over just like that. Only a little bit more because this stuff is a thicker liquid and it takes more to thin out. So you're going to drop it down on that. Let it sit for, I don't know, a few seconds before you start chopping up, stirring it around again. And then, uh, actually this may need to get covered, it may not, but this fork, you can use to scoop it, drop it in there. You don't want to cross-contaminate your spoon in here because this is turkey, it is poultry. I don't know if you can get sick from that or not, but I'd rather not find out. So, we're going to give that a couple seconds, and we'll start to stir it up. Just like so, mix it like that, pass it around, try and get all of it all cooked where there's no more paint. Alright, the turkey alone gives it a lot of uh, oils, so that's good for the cooking, but we're going to throw some more butter in there, just to be sure, to add a little bit of flavor. And then because we've already mixed it up, we're also going to put another round of whatever we're using for flavoring, seasoning, 
like this guy. Pass that. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then some Worcestershire. Now we're going to let that sit for a little bit. Like I said, we're cooking it on low heat. I'm going to crank up the heat just a little bit because I am running quite behind. We're going to stir that all up and then the meat should be ready soon and then we'll throw everything together inside uh, i'm guessing just like maybe one taco the rest of it i might take to work we'll see how it goes from there all right while the rest of that is making um i've already started packing in some of my stuff as you can see you've got your onions here you've got some limes here and then uh let's see if i can point this down a little bit better yeah, right there yeah, I've got my tomato slices that I was talking about. I'm going to cut those down just like that. In a quarters, make it good, nice. And then I'll pop this into another container similar to that one, just like that. Pick those up and throw those in there. And then throw a lid on it, and it should be good for a minute. That lettuce. I still don't know, it's still quite frozen, so I mean the only way to really tell is by a taste test and the food's still cooking, so I'm just going to have to put this here and then see how that goes while I'm at work. By then it'll be thawed out, I'm going to keep this inside one of the refrigerators in there. But that's the lettuce, put that off there on the side, Let's turn this meat a little bit, it's almost there. This far part over here, the higher end, it is burning already. It's starting to smoke out, burn my eyes a little bit. I'm going to turn it that way, reduce it up. That way, that way. Back and forth, let it steam up some. Then I'll pass it around. And then once more, lightly with the seasonings. Just give it a quick pass with that. Two hits. Beach, and then just a whisper of the Creole, just like that. Pass it over, let it finish cooking up, which it's almost there. And then for the tortillas, you can tell store bought tortillas, not homemade. Just pop them into the microwave 30 seconds, pick them up, shuffle them, turn them back over, put them in for another 30 seconds. And then they'll be ready for you to be able to put some, you know, stuff inside of them. And then they'll be flexible, easier to, you know, mold, all of that. By now, this cheese, thinly shredded, very thinly shredded uh, mixture of cheese, a Fiesta blend. So that thought out pretty quickly. We'll just be able to put that straight into the tacos and then that'll be good. So that's that. This is this. I'm going to give that a minute finish packing up all the rest of this stuff and then uh, show you all the finished product all right so that has been that in between every time that I pause the video it's only been about uh, 20 seconds 15 seconds so you can get an idea of how long this basically takes to do no more than 20 minutes got my tortilla heated up right here I only heated up a single one so I did it 20 seconds on one side 15 seconds on the other so, I'm going to pop down some of this meat right in here. A little bit, a little bit. Let's see, some tomato. A little bit of onion. Some of this frozen lettuce. Lettuce throw a lot on there because the lettuce is good it adds a bit of flavor right over here this is that cheese blend that I was talking about probably should have put that on the actual meat first so that way it could start to melt but like this works just as well <clears throat> and then got a lime slice right here it's right there oh this is a juicy juicy lime so you pass it down right on that and then throw some hot sauce on there. I know I've got hot sauce all over the place, but 
that was just one of the things that I don't have to crack at. I don't have to cook. I don't have to do anything for that. Hot sauce is already made. So, there. That's your taco right there. Made fast, quick, in a time crunch. Now, I'm going to eat this thing really fast, take a shower, and then get to work because, you know, you got to work. That's the only way you're going to be able to pay for things. And that's the only way that I can be able to afford to continue making, you know, good food, doing stuff, having fun. Um, if you like the video, leave a comment down, like the video on the thing, hit the subscribe button so you can see the next little thing that I'm making. Constantly busy, constantly doing stuff. So let me know what you think.